what's up guys i am here to do a really really quick video this morning it's a cooking video um i'm going to put together a dish um but then i'm going to cook it later so you will see the final results after i cook it okay back. so this dish is called my jalapeno corn or I, want, I don't want to say cream corn because there's no cream corn in it, but it will be creamy because I'm using um, cream cheese. So my ingredients, as I just said, one is cream cheese, which used in Philadelphia, cream cheese. Of course, I'm using corn, which I'm using frozen corn for the whole curd. So. And then I am going to mix in it oh, some, these are chopped sweet bell peppers that I have already chopped just to get some of the work out of the way. Like I said, this is going to be a really quick video. Um, and then I have this much that I've already chopped. This is jalapenos. Actually, in here I have chopped one jalapeno and then one serrano peppers. Because, uh, you know, serrano peppers are spicier than jalapenos. I'm not sure with the amount of corn I have that this is going to be enough. So, we're going to test it and see. Um, if it is not enough, then I will have another serrano and another jalapeno that I can cut up. And then... Uh, one of my last ingredients is cheese. I'm using Monterey Kobe Jack. Um, it calls for only a cup. I don't know if the amount of corn I have, I'll probably need maybe two cups, but you know, I'm just gonna eyeball it, okay? And then of course, my seasoning, my cream cheese has been sitting out all night. So therefore, um, it is already room temp for the creaminess. And so normally with the corn, I probably would, I don't think this is the cook in the bag. Oh, yes it is. It's the steamable. You can cook it in the bag, but I am not going to cook it in the bag. Like I say, I am going to put this dish all together and then put it in the oven. Um, I will probably, you will probably not see the oven time or cook because I am making this dish to carry and then I will put it in the oven when I get to where I'm going. So I am just going to open up the bags and put everything together. And then, um, like I say, put it in the oven. Because my corn is still frozen, my cream cheese is probably going to do the same. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut the cream cheese up. Or as best I possibly can break it, cut it into pieces. Okay, as y'all can see, that's an epic fail. That's not working. So what I am going to do is go ahead, put this in the oven for a little bit and just let the ice fall off the um, corn and then finish mixing everything together. Okay, y'all, we warmed up enough so I can kind of smooth it together. Like I said, I didn't really want to cook it just yet. So, the two is enough. I'm going to go in here because I'm running out of time. 
Here's my sweet bell peppers. Here's my jalapenos. I'll put a little of this adobo seasoning in here. A little pepper. Little Himalayan salt, pink salt. That's it. So we got it all mixed together. We're gonna take it and put it in the oven. Uh, 350 degrees, like I said, for 15, maybe 20 minutes, maybe a little longer, just to let the cheese really, really melt. And uh, it'll be ready to go, okay? Once we get to where we're going. So see y'all in the next clip. Hey, y'all. Um, this is an outro video to my jalapeno corn. I guess I could call it a casserole. I did not show the finished product because like I said in the video, I took it with me for Thanksgiving. Um, it was part of our Thanksgiving meal of that day. And so I cooked it out of town. You guys did see in the video, the finished product. And basically that's all it was, except it was warm through and cheesy and gooey. So hope that was enough for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're not disappointed that you didn't get to see the totally finished end product. Uh, hope you try it for yourself and then you can see exactly how it turned out. I will say um, what I taste before it was cooked was really good. Um, I am going to probably make that dish again um maybe for a sunday meal hmm now that i think about it sounds good tonight <laughs> may do that tonight okay but anyway again if you are new to the channel welcome glad you stopped by hope you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified of all my uploads i hope you share this video with your friends and family please check out the holiday dessert videos which have been going up for about a week now we will continue probably through christmas so keep looking out for those videos if you guys have any comments of a series or something that you want me to do as far as cooking uh, a particular thing whatever you guys can come up with we will try to see if we can incorporate that into our cooking hope you guys continue to watch Miss J Vibes channel, cooking and restaurant review. Hope you guys are having a wonderful after Thanksgiving week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.